Hi, I'm Deborah Boschert, and I am the author of Art Quilt Collage, A Creative Journey in Fabric, Paint, and Stitch. So I love art quilting, and students often ask me, how do you know where to start? This is the most common question. And I have a chapter in my book on design and composition, and in the chapter I have eight design guides. And the idea is that these design guides can act as a template, a recipe, an idea for possibilities of where to begin with the composition of an art quilt. So I'm going to show you five of these design guides today. So here's the first one, landscape. Now I have this thumbnail sketch, which is just a simple, quick, black and white sketch to help think about the possibilities of creating a composition based on simple horizontal strips. So here's the thumbnail, and then here is the art quilt example. And you see that it is just simple horizontal strips of cloth, and then embellished with uh, paint and stitching, and then this flower here in the corner. So that is the landscape design guide. Here we have what I call the Magic 3 design guide. And this title, the Magic 3, is based on that old schoolhouse rock uh, animation cartoon from Saturday mornings about how three is a magic number. So I always think about that when I uh, introduce this design guide. So the eye really likes three. And in the thumbnail sketch, we just have three simple clouds. And then in the example quilt, I've created three fishes. And the idea of the magic three is that you're using three similar shapes and placing them within the frame of the composition in slightly different locations. But the eye really likes seeing three. So that's magic three. So next we have grid, the grid design guide, which is really a throwback to the most traditional quilts. And I started out making quilts, now I make art quilts, but I still love the traditional nine patch. So here, this design guide is really just a nine patch. Um, and I, in the thumbnail, have jazzed it up a little bit by adding some circles. Here is the art quilt um, example of the grid design guide. So here we have these four bowls that are placed in this grid format. The next design guide is the symmetrical design guide. So here in this thumbnail, just a simple focus element, which in this case is a flower in the middle, and then symmetrical elements on each side that match and mirror each other. And here in the art quilt example, little thread there, let's get rid of that, um, we have a feather in the middle of the design and these two green pieces flanking each side and the blue stripe at the top which is also placed in the center. So everything is mirrored on each side. But we don't want the symmetrical design guide to be boring. So you want to add in some elements that make it interesting. So here we have uh, two purple triangles on one side, these purple X's that go all the way down the side here, but just on one side here. So it's great to throw in some unexpected elements that aren't specifically symmetrical. The next design guide is third plus. And the idea here is that you divide the composition in thirds. So we have two thirds here and one third here, and then we place an interesting element on that line. That's the plus. So third plus. And in this case, the example quilt is actually divided vertically, but this design guide totally works whether you're designing horizontally or vertically. So here we have the purple section, one third, the green section, two thirds, and then this plus element, the interesting design um, addition that sits right on that one third line. So I hope that some of those ideas are inspiring to you. Check out the book, Art Quilt Collage, for more of those eight design guides and also a full design checklist to help you decide how to finish your art quilt.